My name's Eliza, I'm 20 years old. I'm from a village just outside of Canberra. I like to do painting, I like to do craftsmanship, such as like making toys. And I like to collect eccentric items such as reborn dolls and teddy bears. A reborn doll is a doll that has been so-called reborn. What they do pretty much is take all the paint off and repaint it to look more realistic. This one is Noah. He's really kind of heavy for a doll. He's weighted very... They, they weight them, you see, to feel like real babies. And he's really top heavy, so you naturally kind of want to support the head like you would a real baby. He's also quite heavy in the butt. So you naturally end up kind of cradling them. A lot of people use them as therapy items. That's only for some of my clients and that's for only some people. Some people like collecting them because they're art pieces and they appreciate fine art. And some people collect them because they collect dolls. Some people collect them because they like collecting things. I like collecting them because they're a nice display piece. Um, they're really detailed and I quite enjoy looking at them. I've been collecting Reborns for about four years and I'm currently the mother of six, soon to be seven of them. I love Reborn dolls because they never tell you secrets, you can take them almost anywhere and you can give them endless cuddles. For me, they're a stress relief and they help with my depression. I found an artist and she made me a doll and I paid a fair bit for it. And when it got here, I was not happy. I was so pissed. It, it was awful. Paint was coming off it. Um, half its hair was falling out. And I said to myself, I can do better. So I did. I sell them in Facebook groups and also on eBay. People contact me and they request their own custom doll. So it's kind of a commissioned order. Um, where they can choose everything about the baby. It's normally through my Facebook page. They come in, they send me a message that way. And I used to share my work on um, Facebook pages, uh, which are little reborn community pages where you can post photos, post listings for sale, um, contact other people. I was looking for a reborn on Facebook about three years ago, and Eliza commented saying that she makes customs. Two of my dolls are from her and she's making a third one for me now. I absolutely love, love, love them because Eliza makes them so gorgeous and beautiful. She's very easy to talk to and she's got a lovely personality. I love interacting with her. The community is not that nice. It can be quite toxic. Um, it's pretty much, I'm gonna be very blunt here. It, it's pretty much a bunch of women bitching about other women and if you're the target of their bitching, well, you're in for a bit of a ride there. I had a lady contact me about a custom to redo this doll and redo its paint. I did that, she was all happy with it. She never actually gave me any criticism about it. You know, I would you know, say anything you want me to change about it, nothing. Um, apparently she wasn't happy with it. And instead of contacting me, or even you know, addressing it with me. She went off and had a rampage on different groups about me and slandering my name. And then other people hop on the bandwagon. I've had you know, lots of happy clients and then out of the blue, this one that I spent months with, you know, she would say, oh, I love it, it's so pretty. And I'd send work in progress photos and she'd say, oh, that's beautiful, she's perfect and apparently she didn't like them. Apparently they were so bad she couldn't even sell them again. And I was, you know, I followed exactly how she wanted it. I went against actually my own creative, you know, decision because she wanted some requests for it, which I didn't particularly like, like at all. But being the customer, you know, customers come first. You know, I did it for her. And that just led to them creating posts, just, you know, slandering my name and having horrible comments about how awful I am and how awful my work is. It really did knock me around and I, every time I would, would go to paint, I'd just think about all the horrible things people said about me and I, I questioned if I was actually good enough for this. And every time I would sit down to paint, I just couldn't. I, I, I did try my hardest too, but it, 
it really just did a number on me and losing something that you really love to do, it's not, it's not easy. It, it's actually quite hard. But there was one lovely past client of mine who did stand up for me. I remember when other people in the community attacked Eliza. They were being very rude and immature. They were posting in one group and leaving comments on my posts, so I told them that they are bullies and that they should leave her alone. It, it feels a lot different now. I, I used to do so much work and when I went back to painting, I seemed to have forgotten everything. This is the first doll I've actually done in a while. It's been about a year and a half, year and a bit. This doll is for that lovely client that I talked about earlier. She's just a sweetheart and knowing that this one is going to be loved and it's going to be cherished and appreciated, I just, I'm, I'm more than happy to do a doll for this. And it's really, I forgot how much I enjoyed it. As soon as I sat down and started painting, I re remembered how much I really did enjoy it and I really did forget. <laughs> Like any hobby, you do grow bored of them. But if, it, if it's up to me, I reckon I'll keep going as long as I can because I do enjoy it, I very much do.